Before we get into today's video, I have a huge announcement, alright? So most of you probably already know about my merch store. Well, anyways, the entire store is actually 50. 15% off currently, okay? So whatever you order on the site, you'll get 15% off your entire order if you use code BOLTRIX at checkout, okay? So that is B-O-L-T-R-I-X is how you spell my name. That is the code at checkout and you get 15% off your order, all right? It will be the first link in the description below, all right? www.shopboltrix.com. That is all I wanted to tell you guys. Thank you for listening. Enjoy the video. Intro was too unhealthy. Every time you place a tower and sell one, tell your roommate to add ingredients to a smoothie you will be drinking. Okay, if anything, this is gonna be unhealthier. Like, if it's any ingredient, like, it's gotta be unhealthy. Uh, but I'm guessing I'm down, so let's hop right into it. Yo, what is up guys, Boltrix here, back with a brand new video, and today guys, we got some VIP Coliseum boost only, so let's hop right in today's video. If you guys have not already, make sure to click that subscribe button on the right and while you're at it drop a like on today's video because we got a freaking banger okay but anyways you guys already know about the challenge with the smoothie okay so i actually don't have my roommate here currently so what i'm gonna do is after this game i'm gonna count up how many towers i sold and placed and then we're going to be closing our eyes and picking random ingredients out of the fridge and then our cupboard as well, okay? So I'm super duper excited and we got our first opponent, Mr. Whiskers, and he looks pretty darn good, boys, all right? Water Resorts is the map and I'm kind of feeling Wiz Tack Farm on this map, okay? Because I've been neglecting this strategy a lot, all right? I've said this in the past as well. It's just like, I don't use it very much. I really, really don't, okay? And it's honestly super, super viable for a map like this. Uh, so let's get it, all right? We're gonna be starting, of course, off with our farm. We always, always do this, boys. And then our first tower is gonna be our tax shooter, all right? Uh, the one iffy thing about this strategy is the camo detection, okay? If he happens to all out us round 13 with camo balloons, uh, could be a little bit difficult to defend. But I feel like we shouldn't have too many issues because we do have a boost if needed, all right? So we're going to be sending him three sets of reds and two sets of space blues. It looks like Mr. Whiskers is probably going to be going with the heli because he has yet to set down a tower, all right? No, he's going with the Dartling. Okay, so he's probably going Dartling Boomer or Dartling Village, okay? Or Dartling Ice. He could be going a lot of different things. All right, but we're just going to have to wait and see, I guess. Uh, but here he comes at us with a lot of reds. Okay, so what I'm going to probably do is just upgrade to this 2-0 for now. And I honestly just might upgrade to the 2-3 as well. You know what? We're just going to do that, okay? Because I feel like he's not going to stop the aggression uh, with all this eco. So might as well just not grieve for the next farm and just play it safe, okay? Kind of sucks because we're probably going to pull back a little bit in the farms. But it's all good, okay? I feel like it was pretty worth it. Uh, but we did have 131 lives, but if we didn't upgrade, we probably would have been down to, like, less than 100. So, I'm kind of happy that we uh, decided to play it safe there, boys. Let's go for yet another 1-0 farm. I'm going to be upgrading to the more bananas, and I believe that he just got up his plantation, okay? So, uh, we're pretty much tied in the farms. On round 6, we're going to be sending him some space blacks, because that's going to force a powerful darts upgrade on his darling. Okay, maybe he's out farming us a little bit more than that, alright? He just got up another 1-0. I don't know if that's his, like, second 1-0 and the other one's a 1-0, but I think the first farm he placed down is a plantation. I can't entirely tell because the blue balloons button is in the way, all right? Uh, so that kind of sucks, but it's all good. Let's see what he does here, though, okay? He might just go over that plantation on that next 1-0, and yeah, that's exactly what he's going to do, okay? So I'm going to try to be a little bit more aggressive towards him. Um, I'm going to see if it ends up paying off, okay? I feel like it's going to because even just a powerful darts upgrade is not going to be enough. There he goes with the ice tower. So now I'm going to start to send some space deco behind all of this. And uh, he should be struggling a little bit in my opinion. So let's see what happens, all right? Looks like actually he's defending pretty nicely, okay? So well freaking done, honestly. He's going darling nice, so that's good to know. Um, so darling nice is good. It's just like I feel like it's definitely beatable, okay? So I'm not too scared um about this game boys okay we're gonna be going for another plantation so there we go for that he's gonna be sending us a little bit of space deco okay so i'm gonna have to get up a two zero in here so let's do that there we go that should clean up very very nicely and it definitely did okay so he just went for another farm i'm actually gonna do the same thing i just sold my tax year in order to do this but like if he wants to send me yellows by all means freaking do it boys because like I think we won't have any issues. All we really need to do is just get up another two, three very quickly, and we should be good. Okay, so yeah, here he comes with them. Wow, I'm honestly surprised to see something like this, boys. Uh, oh my gosh, we don't even need to upgrade, okay? So yeah, of course, we're going to be leaking some lives there, but we can afford to leak them, okay? Because now we're only at 87, and that's not bad whatsoever, boys. What we're going to do here is go for yet another plantation, 
And the one thing he's going to probably really struggle to is a round 11 rush, okay? So we're probably going to be quite aggressive on that round. And yeah, he is just pulling away in the farms a little bit. He is just being very, very greedy. But I respect the players, okay, for sure, because I would do the same exact thing, boys, all right? Uh, I'm trying to go for this next plantation. There's no need to send him a lead here. Uh, so we're not going to be doing that. Let's go for the plantation because he was like super, super late. Dude, oh my gosh, this man. This freaking man, oh my gosh. Okay, so we're going to immediately come at him with some whites. Okay, and we're going to be leaking some lies, it looks like. And that's fine, okay, because we do have some tax shooters. So he's going to be struggling to this, 100,000%. I sent him so many whites right there, boys. There's no way he's not. Oh my gosh, he is freaking, he's defending. What the heck? Holy crap, boys, that's crazy. Wait. Uh, he did leak some lives. Okay, he's down to 78. I'll take it. I'll take it for sure. All right, down to 75. We need some camera detection on the map right now, boys. Okay, so let's do that. There we go. But he's still out farming, man. And he has so many defenses. This is kind of crazy, boys. I didn't expect the strategy to do this good. Like, holy crap. Uh, he might possibly go for a BIA as well. And it looks like he might be doing that. And yeah, he's going to be doing that. Wow. Okay, so we're definitely going to be forcing... Uh, the selling of that right now and uh he's not gonna be liking that whatsoever boys that is a hundred percent going to force him to boost there we go and then uh we're just gonna be re-rushing him and we're gonna see how um it ends up working out for him okay he was nearly leaking right there yeah down to 51 lives boys my freaking goodness boys okay so yeah we're gonna be coming at him with a re-rush most definitely and he's not gonna be liking that whatsoever all right and let's see what happens. There's no way he's defending. All right, he's going to have to sell. He's going to have to sell. Oh, my gosh, he's dead. Yeah, that was just way too greedy. What? No way, jokes. <laughs> There's no way. There's no way, boys. He just choked that so hard. <laughs> oh my goodness. I was I was like so quiet because I was like, dude, I freaking lost. I literally lost this game. But we ended up winning. Let's get it. There's actually no way. He outplayed us so hard, okay? I'm not gonna lie to y'all. Like the fact that he played that well and that he was able to farm that hard was actually kind of ridiculous, man. Like, he got up around, like, 13, 14 BIA. I was like, dude, no way. And he defended with ease. But no, we got him to the all-out regen rainbow rush. And that is going to be a freaking GG, boys. I'll catch y'all in the next one. Yo, what is good, guys? Okay, so my roommate actually did pick some ingredients for me. They're actually right here, okay? Just trust me, okay? I swear, on my YouTube channel, on my BTD career that he picked these, okay? But anyways, we're going to be mixing these all into a smoothie. But the only issue is... This is my smoothie cup. Okay, whoa. This is my smoothie cup, all right? Uh, so we can't fit too much into it. So like for some ingredients, we might have to just put like a very, very small portion in it considering there's 19, all right? So let's get right into it. All right, boys, so I know this is not the best setup, uh, but it's what we get to work with, okay? So let's just hop right into it. Uh, the first ingredient, I guess, is this chocolate bar, okay? Uh, so we're gonna be putting that into the cup right now. So as you guys can see, um, come on. Boop. there we go so we got the chocolate in. that is one down some milk okay i hate milk and yes it's pronounced milk not milk Ugh. yuck okay but anyways uh just a little bit okay not too much that was actually a lot okay now that i think about it but anyways we're gonna be sending these like ingredients aside so we know we use them okay so we got some halo top which is actually mint chip flavor okay so i haven't even opened this yet so let's open it right now let's get a spoon all right so we got the spoon so here we go we're gonna just take a little scoop out of it okay put that bad boy in there come on there we go awesome boom all right so that's three ingredients we got some naked strawberry banana juice oh my gosh i love this actually let's shake it up a little bit there we go okay i'm like trying to like duck a little bit because I don't know, the camera angle is terrible, but there we go with a little bit of that. We got strawberry off-brand Pop-Tart from Walmart. Let's get it. <laughs> what even? All right, so like we're going to get like, you know, a little corner piece. Actually, we want a piece that has like strawberry in it, you know? So I like that, okay? A little two little pieces right there. That's five ingredients. We got some jalapeno veggie chips. Uh, so <laughs> like what even, boys? But uh, 
Let's put two of those bad boys in there. There we go. Then after we got some Greek yogurt on vanilla. So awesome. I'm gonna put a scoop of this in there. It's actually, ew, it's like really watery. Ew, okay. Uh, so that's that. Ew, it's disgusting, boys. Next on our agenda, we got some Oreos. Okay, so we're just gonna put like, I guess a whole ass Oreo in here. Like what? <laughs> ew. That's disgusting, okay? So next, almond milk, unsweetened. That's where my roommate drinks, I don't drink this, okay? So that was actually kind of a lot, I shouldn't have done that. Uh, next, we got some Minute Maid Fruit Punch. Okay, all right, there we go. Let's pour a little bit of that in there. Oh, this looks just delightful, boys. All right, next, some more naked, but mango flavor. I just love naked juice, boys, if you couldn't already tell. So there we go, we got a lot of liquid in there, boys, for sure. Next, got some raspberries. Okay, all righty. So we're gonna throw like one in there because you know, we don't wanna take up too much room because we still have a little bit of ingredients left. Uh, so next, blackberries. Love, absolutely love fruit. I've yet to even open these. So I'm gonna eat one too because I'm kind of craving them right now. We should wash them, but yeah, let's do that. You know, there could be like a bug or something on it. I'm not trying to die. So dumb disease or something like that. All right, next we got some blueberries. I'm also gonna wash these. All right, so we can do like a handful of these. So like that much, that's that's pretty good, okay? Next we got some strawberries. Okay, so we have to wash them once freaking again. So I'm just gonna put like a whole strawberry in there like this, you know? So there we go, awesome. Next we got some freaking spinach boys. Gotta love the spinach, okay? I'm gonna put a little bit in there. Cause you know, spinach never hurts. I absolutely love spinach. Oh, ew, ew, okay. My fingers just got a little bit wet, all good. Next, we got the frickin' banana, okay? We're just gonna be putting like one piece of a banana in there, so uh, let's do that. Boom, easy. Two more ingredients, boys. This is the second to last, which is peanut butter, which I don't like peanut butter. Um, so this is gonna be pretty strong. Like I do and I don't, it's so weird. I don't know how to feel about it. There we go with the peanut butter, awesome. And the final ingredient is actually gonna be some water, okay? My roommate told me to have that, because technically it is indeed an ingredient, so let's put some in. And boom, okay, so I just put in some water. There is the finished product, boys. We're gonna have to, of course, you know, put the blender or whatever on, and let's get it. All right, boom, got our smoothie. Let's shake it up a little bit, of course. And then I'm gonna put it on here. Okay. Oh, oh, look at that. All right, boys, I believe that we have the finished product here. Um, so I don't know how to entirely feel about this. Let's just set this up here. Okay, I'm just gonna duck, you know? Let's just, let's just duck down, okay? Uh, but anyways, oh, it smells awful. Oh my goodness, it smells so bad. Okay, so we're gonna take a sip of this, let's get it. Yo, it's actually not that bad, what? Dude, he, honestly, with the ingredients, he didn't do me dirty at all. Like we got freaking fruit in here. Like I thought he was gonna put like ranch or something. No, I got a good roommate, boys. Mm. That's honestly pretty good, okay? It didn't say to drink the whole thing and I'm not gonna drink the whole thing because I'm like not trying to throw up. It's honestly not that bad though. Um, but yeah, there's a smoothie, boys. Let's freaking get into the next game. So we're back with our next opponent, Cheesy Nipples, okay? So wow, that last game, boys, that was crazy, crazy intense. I literally thought I was dead. Like, that's why I just stopped commentating because I was like, dude, like, this is gonna be thrown out the window. Like, there's no point in showing this because I got absolutely slaughtered, but no. We were hanging on by a single freaking thread, boys, and we ended up winning. That's crazy, man. I'm so happy, all right? But Wizards Keep is indeed the map, which um, I'm kind of down to just, like, you know, chill and go try hard with Boat Farm Boomer. Uh, so let's do it, boys, all right? This guy looks pretty good as well. He's quite a bit of medallions and not too bad of a record, okay? So I'm hoping for the best and a fun-filled match, okay? Because that last match, that was fun, boys. Like, although I was kind of salty for a second, after winning, it was definitely fun, okay? <laughs> but anyways, let's start off with our first farm, of course. And then our first tower is indeed going to be our boat, okay? 100,000%. Uh, let's get that on the map right about now. There we go. Awesome. He should also be going with the boat. And yes, he is. Okay. So we're going to be kind of aggressive with some eco here. We're also going to be going for the more bananas. Amazing. And then let's send space blues until 261. Uh, just to force that grape shot upgrade on his side. Okay. He is not going to be forcing the grape shot upgrade on our side. Um, so that's a good thing. And yep, there he goes with his awesome boys let's freaking get it he might just be inclined to send us more eco which obviously would be a good thing for us uh because we can still go for our next farm here okay so definitely just going to be doing that immediately let's do that down here awesome 
And uh, we might knock over the Warman Inez. I'm not entirely sure. Let's turn on the guided access, by the way, real quick. There we go. He went for his, though. Okay. Well done. Well done. Uh, let's get down this. Oh, my gosh. Okay. So we're going to be fine with this space deco. All we had to do is just upgrade to a grave shot and then set our boat to last. Of course, yes, we're leaking lives right now, but that's because they're boosted space pinks. Okay. So there's no need to upgrade. The boat just happens to be super, super OP. Just remember to target your boat to last. Okay. Definitely in that position. And then if you have the boat in his current position then i would definitely target it to close okay uh, but anyways we're gonna pull away in the farms just a little bit here so let's go for our plantation while well, freaking done yes he's like right behind us uh, but it's all good okay because these space blacks hopefully will force some type of upgrade on his side and they most definitely should okay we're gonna go for a faster shooting he's gonna be doing the same exact thing actually um, and we're actually not going to be stopping with these space flex. So let's just continue on. And we're probably also going to get up a zero zero. So let's do that. He wants to greet though here. He's going to set down all of his tax. Wow. Okay. So I don't agree with this move. Okay. Never mind. He was, he was thinking about it though. He definitely wanted to go for the next farm there. Uh, but it was just not worth it okay so i'm gonna stop with the space blacks i'm gonna hopefully go for yet another plantation and life should be good okay so he has a slight life advantage okay i didn't realize i leaked that many to be honest with y'all um but it's all good okay so he just recently went for his plantation well done should i go for this farm you know what we're gonna do it okay and let's see if he wants to send us yellows. No, he's going to continue farming too, okay? I like it. Because, like, I can't send this guy yellows right now. Like, it's too easy to defend yellows on this map. I'm telling y'all, okay? So, here he comes at us with yellows. I'm telling y'all right now, it's going to be super, super easy to defend. We don't have to even upgrade to a third grape shot, okay? It looks like we're going to be leaking some lives, of course. It happens. It's all good, okay? I don't really mind. So, let's sell that. Let's uh, send him a lead. Oh, my gosh. I was so late to this lead. Jeez Louise, boys, okay? Um, oh my gosh, my phone, my the screen wasn't working right there. That was weird, okay? But anyways, let's upgrade to this boomer so we can pop those regens, of course. There we go. And we're going to be going for yet another farm here. I'm like leaking unnecessary lives right now, boys. Like, what am I doing? We have to get up a cannon ship here, so we're going to do that. Let's go for the plantation anyways, though, because we are greedy. We are very, very greedy. And let's set our cannon ship to strong. There we go. And we're probably going to be sending him a rush here just to scare him, okay? Because I really want to force that 2-3 uh, boomer upgrade on his side, okay? So a lot of zebras right there and then some whites. Okay, that's fine with me. Cool, cool, cool. And, oh, he even leaked some lives as well. Oh, that scared him a little bit, okay? We didn't get a boost out of him, so that kind of sucks. But it's all good, all right? Uh, but anyways, we're going to go for a Republic probably down here in this corner. So let's do that. Oh, he's going to be sending us a rush, okay? So uh, we should be fine with this i believe uh i might have to tack once or twice okay yeah we're chilling we're chilling all right we had to upgrade that's all good i don't care uh we're gonna be coming down to, of course on round 16 with the rush uh so life should be good oh no way he's actually rushing me right now oh my gosh okay he's just being super super aggressive right now boys we're gonna be fine with literally all of that and we're gonna come at him with a rush with a camo ceramic in there as well pinks over top he is not gonna be liking that and there he goes with the turbo charge okay yeah he was definitely scared um of that camo ceramic and we ended up defending okay so here he comes at us with another rush i think he accidentally boosted right there <laughs> no way okay what the heck no 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 Oh my gosh. Okay, so I think his boost is still in effect. Let's see. Uh, I'm sending a McCamo Ceramic in there. He just got up a Destroyer though. Okay, he's going to be fine then. Wow, he was able to afford that? I'm actually kind of surprised that he was. Holy crap. Uh, should we send him a Moab? Yeah, we should. Okay. No way he caught that much up in the farms though. How? How in the world is he like tied with us in the farms now? That's kind of crazy. Anyways, let's send him this uh, Moab. He's going to scare him. He's He might boat pull it. I don't know. He's going to get up a second destroyer. Okay, he's going to be able to defend then. Yeah, well done. And he boosts on top of it. Okay, he wanted to boost to be safe. I definitely understand that. Uh, but he did not have to. But of course, I'm glad that he did. Okay, because now he's down two boost. I'm expecting a rerush at us. Uh, so I'm not going to go for another farm. Uh, we're just going to boat pull this actually. And then we're going to turbo charge. So let's just do that. Awesome. And that is a super, super easy defend, boys. I am so glad that he did all of that because that was just a huge waste of money for him and just very, very good for us, okay? So here he comes with some zebras. Dude, like, this is not going to be an issue. He is just way too aggressive, boys. Like, it's going to be the downfall of him. And he also has way too many defenses on the map currently, okay? So we're going to be able to pull ahead in the farms, which, of course, is amazing. Uh, he did sell a boat right there, though, to go for another Republic. Okay, so well done. So we have, what, 5,000, 
thousand, nine thousand uh, dollars. So once we hit around five thousand, I'm probably gonna be going for um my factory okay yeah i feel like that's the go-to move here i can't rush him like it's too easy to defend an all out okay so let's go for the facility here there we go and let's see if he's going to be aggressive with a rush indeed yep here he comes with that um oh my gosh okay so we're going to be able to defend against this with a boost probably so i'm going to boost that and uh we should be fine and yes we were okay so he might all out us now that we're down a boost okay Gotta watch out for that. Uh, so if that does happen, then we should be fine. Are you serious? What is he doing? <laughs> That's too many. Holy crap. All right, we're gonna be sending him some leads within this AI. That's gonna be scaring him, of course. Let's get up a... Oh, God. Okay, this is actually kind of scary. Is he dead? Please tell me he died. Okay, thank God, because I had to sell my facility right there. Like, or else I was dead holy crap i didn't think he was gonna be again aggressive but he was this was by far like one of the most aggressive players I've ever played against oh my goodness it just costed him the game man like he didn't put any of his money into his farms he just kept on rushing me constantly and it just did not work out right so that's gonna be a gg i will catch y'all in the next one so we're back with our next opponent boost only zypho okay he looks pretty good he definitely slayed his account recently okay meaning that he reset his account i saw a question actually in the comment section or somebody asking me uh pretty much all you have to do is go into the store tab on bt battles and then click clean slate and it's going to reset your record okay uh but anyways we have the map outside which i absolutely love and um i'm definitely down to play okay so i'm going to switch it up a little bit though i'm going to go ng spike factory farm okay because i feel like even though this guy is pretty good Feel like we might be able to get a win out of them okay using this ultimate strategy so let's get it boys we're gonna be starting off of course uh with our farm and then our first tower is gonna be the engineer okay so the engineer just happens to be a super super good starting tower and then of course we're gonna get a lot of money out of the balloon trap with it the one thing this strategy really struggles to though is moab class balloons okay that's for sure because pretty much all we have to rely off of is our spike factory so that's gonna kind of suck it's gonna be kind of hard to defend against uh but we're gonna hope for the best okay so of course we went for the more bananas on our farm i'm gonna be sending space blues until 261 uh behind all of those reds he's gonna have to definitely upgrade to a triple dart and we are gonna be chilling i think think yeah we're gonna be fine okay so we're gonna leak a few lives here and there i don't really mind though i'm trying to go for my next farm as quickly as possible okay uh so we forced that triple dart on his side wonderful let's go for yet another one zero awesome he's gonna give us a face palm because he probably thinks we're going ninja ng uh but we're definitely not okay i would not do that to you man all right but anyways he's gonna go for his next farm probably his plantation no okay there's the one zero uh we're gonna be immediately sending him some space pinks here he's gonna be boosting them at me Oh, okay. Did not expect that. Uh, but what we're going to have to do probably is upgrade to the 9-inch nails here. Uh, so I will definitely be doing that here in a second. Looks like we're leaking quite a bit of lives, though. Like, my galley, this kind of sucks, all right? And he's, like, leaking nothing. What in the world? Engineer, what are you doing, man, okay? Holy crap, it just needs to catch up, okay? It just needs to catch up. That's all, right? No, he's not stopping with the space deco, okay? I'm going to get up the faster engineering, I guess. And we forced that triple dart on his side, so I guess that's a good thing. Dude, even the 2-1 right now is struggling to these space pinks. What is going on? <laughs> Dude, holy crap, I can't even go for my plantation here, boys. What in the world? Dude, he's not stopping with this. He is not. He's like, nope, I'm on a mission. I'm on a mission with the space deco. Oh my goodness, okay? So we leaked down to 39 lives. There's actually no way. He's going to continue his aggression because, like, we're down so low. So, like, I understand it. It's just, like, I probably would uh, go for my farms more. Because uh, he's not going to kill us, okay? Like, I, I can assure you all that right now. It's just, like, a 2-1 ninja who is struggling his face pinks. That's kind of crazy, boys. Like, what? Anyway, he's going to go for his next farm, um, which kind of sucks. But let's send him some space blocks within this round 7 AI. Hopefully, he has to leave some lives. Or, yeah, he's going to upgrade to that 2-1. Okay, I'm all for that as well. Let's stop with his base deco for now and let's see what happens on round eight okay i kind of want to go for my plantation i'm gonna hesitate a little bit though in case he's gonna send us some yellows on round eight okay uh it looks like he's getting ready for his spike of pults oh no he went for his i'm gonna go for mine then cool 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 i'm all for that uh do i want to send yellows probably not okay because now i need to save up money uh for my balloon trap most freaking definitely boys so when i have our balloon trap probably like right about here it's a pretty decent spot and yeah he's gonna go for his next farm okay unfortunately we cannot 
It's just what you gotta do when going with the strategy, boys, okay? Uh, so already I got the glue foam up just to prepare a little bit. Oh, he has silver projectiles on as well. Okay, cool. So anyways, we're gonna sell both of these and we should have enough money. We do. Awesome. Let's send them the lead. Cool, cool, cool. And we're gonna get the spike factory up in the back of the map right now just to play it safe a little bit, okay? Um, and show him, yeah, we're definitely not going with Ninja NG, all right? So like, our chance to win this game, we're kind of low, kind of low, okay? Not gonna lie to y'all. Uh, but we're gonna try our best, okay? We still have somewhat of a chance. So I'm gonna upgrade my Spike Factory just a little bit in the back of the map. He's kind of green in the farms right now too, by the way. So I wanna be kind of aggressive with a rush very, very soon. Uh, just because he keeps on going for farms left and right, boys. Like, what in the world? Okay, so yeah, we're just going to send him literally the tiniest rush ever. It's going to force all the spike bolts down there. So yeah, literally just whites and boom. That forced both spike bolts. A freaking amazing. Let's get it. Okay, that was the goal with that. Literally. So that's awesome. And um, we're going to be collecting from this blue and trap, hopefully, on this round as well. There we go. So yeah, he's definitely just playing um, more on the defensive side. Like, he just like... He's like, dude, I just cannot throw this game. He's going with the Spike Factory. So he's playing smart, okay? I got to respect it. It just kind of sucks. You know, I wish he was a little bit more aggressive towards us so we get more money. But, like, you know, if you're aggressive towards a balloon trap, then you're just going to be essentially giving your opponent money. So, like, it makes sense, okay? It definitely does. I understand. Uh, but anyways, we're going to send him a rush probably, though. Ooh, okay. So he's going to go for that. We're going to send him a rush right now. And we're going to see if he's able to defend. Let's see. He's going to have to boost that. Like, 100,000%, he's boosting that. Alright, so at least we got a boost out of him, but like, dude, this kind of sucks, man. Because I don't see him losing this game now. I, I really, really don't. So yeah, he's just going to spolt spam like until the day he dies. So that really sucks. He has enough money in order to defend against anything. And if I all out him, all he has to do is sell his BIA, and he's going to be good, okay? So this is really unfortunate, boys. Oh, he's going to come at us with a rush. Okay, so let's upgrade our spike factory in the back of the map a little bit. And uh, we should be pretty good against all of this. I'm going to get up the faster production in the back. And hopefully that can handle all of it, okay? It's like only like four sets of lead. So, yeah, we should be fine with all of that. Oh, my gosh. That was actually so close. What in the world? Holy crap. All right. So, we're going to boost this at him, actually, because we want another boost out of him, okay? So, that is the goal there. There's the boost. Okay, so now he's down two boosts. So that's a good thing. He's going to have to upgrade a lot of those. He literally might die right there. Oh my gosh. That looked super bad for a second. He's going to leap down to 48 lives. What we're trying to force out of him is uh, the Super Monkey Fan Club. So pretty much we just want him to sell, um, or not sell, but collect from his BIA. So this next Moab should do the trick, uh, especially with the AI LEDs. Okay, so I'm going to send constant LEDs behind it still. I'm going to see how he reacts. And yep, there he goes for that. Cool, cool, cool. Um, so yeah, he pretty much has won this game, boys. Like, I can't do anything. He just played way too freaking defensively. Like, if he chokes this, boys, if he freaking chokes this, that would be literally so amazing. Uh, but anyways, we're gonna have to go for a power move right here. So I'm gonna go for my facility, actually, which is, like, super late to do so. But I feel like I just had to. And yeah, he, he's showing us no mercy. Like, he does not care, okay? Uh, but anyways, I think we should be able to defend against this, okay? Um, I don't see why we can't. I'm just trying to collect as much from my balloon trap as possible right now because uh, of the AI currently. So, yeah, that's why I'm just, like, constantly clicking this. Oh, God. Okay, so. Let's just do that. Oh, my God. I don't have enough money. Oh my goodness, holy crap, that literally barely defended, boys. My goodness, let's get up uh, Spike Factories in the back of the map right freaking now. Oh my goodness, he just did not show any freaking mercy right there. My goodness, okay, so yeah, look how defensively he's playing. Like, you don't need this many defenses for round 21 AI, oh my gosh. All right, but anyways, let's go for a Republic down here. I'm going to be sending him, of course, a couple of leads, okay, just to scare him, you know, possibly get his last boost out of him. Uh, so that's the goal here. Hopefully, we can defend against all of this with the spike factors in the back of the map. I don't know. It's going to be kind of close. Oh, my gosh. And we got the last boost out of him. There's actually no way he's playing this defensively right now, boys. What? Oh, my gosh. Okay. Uh, yeah, let's get this in the back of the map. Okay, just to play it safe, we might need another balloon trap then, honestly. And I think I might just do that. So, yeah, let's get up another balloon trap. There we go. All right, so he's down all of his boost, but I know for a fact he's going um, with the dart farm ace strategy, of course. 
So there's no way like we win this. Like if he loses this, boys. But he has no boost, okay? We have the boost advantage. So like there's a small, small freaking chance that we can actually win this game. Should we get up a third balloon trap? Or nah, we're chilling, okay? We got a lot of spike factory defenses in the back of the map. So like I'm pretty like confident in those. There's no way he still has yet though to go for another facility. He has three jugs too. Like I'm trying to force a fan club out of him next round. Like that would be great, okay? So that is the goal. You know what? I'm going to go for another one just to be safe, okay? So yeah, let's send him these regen lights. He got up a fourth freaking jug, boys. A fourth jug. He is so scared. Oh my gosh, he's sending me a ZOMG. That's why I never went for the next farm. <laughs> okay, so uh, this is going to be kind of hard to defend against, okay? So what we're going to do is just collect... Like, oh my gosh, he's going for that. All right, so let's just uh, spike storm this one time. Spike storm again. Sp spike storm again. No way. <laughs> oh my lord, boys. There's no way. <laughs> There's literally no way. Oh my gosh. Okay, so like that was like super freaking scary right there. But we ended up defending, okay? Let's collect like from all of these back here. There we go. Let's get these spike factories in the back of the map. Oh my gosh. That was so scary. Okay, so uh, we have the facility up. It's just like, what do we do here, boys? Like, I honestly don't know. We can't do anything. <laughs> uh, he's going to go for his next Republic, or not Republic, a factory right there. So I'm going to probably try to do the same thing. Yeah, let's just do that right now. There we go. Uh, we're going to have to try to defend, though, against this AI, okay? So this is kind of scary. So we're going to need up some, like, two, three spike factories, okay? Four freaking sure. Uh, so let's get those on the map right now. We got one. Uh, so we might need more. Oh god, I'm so scared right now. <laughs> I'm literally so scared, boys. We might have to sell our facility here. I'm so scared. Oh my gosh. Yeah, we're, we're gonna die if we don't. Oh my god. So let's sell that. Okay, we're gonna be able to defend. Awesome. Let's send him some regen leads here. It's gonna scare him. Hopefully we can defend against all that, right? Oh my god, no, we're dead. No! Oh my gosh, the fact that this guy played like this, boys, against Spy Factory. <laughs> it's too great. It's too great, man. Like, this guy, like, he just tried so, so hard. Like, I understand, like, at the end of the day, you want to win, but, like, he tried way too hard, especially against the freaking Spike Factory. He did not have any fun against it, but it's all good, okay? Some people play like that. It's understandable. So we're going to wrap up today's video here. I hope you guys did enjoy. Make sure to drop a like on today's video if you did. And also, while you're at it, make sure to click that subscribe button, all right? So the last question I asked you guys in the last video was... In the last video, what tower did I say is pretty much the meta tower in old school mode? And the answer is the boomer. So this guy won. Congratulations, man. Yes, the boomer. It's super, super OP. Definitely because of the turbo charge when you don't have any boost in old school mode, okay? So congratulations once again on your shout out. So the next question, I'm going to be asking you guys this. What strategy did we use in today's video where we were just trying to have fun and our opponent was just not having it, boys? Like, he was just trying way too freaking hard, all right? So make sure to leave your answers down below in the comment section. And you may have the chance to win a shout out in the next video, which is obviously dope. I hope you boys did enjoy. Once again, it's been your Robotrix or Justin. Peace out, everybody.